hi guys welcome back to my channel stack campus so in this video we are going to talk about dynamic drop down, drop down okay so dynamic drop down also called as auto suggestive drop down okay so let's see first what is this auto suggestive drop down or dynamic drop down then we will handle these things okay so for this like uh, we are going to use this link that is rahul sati academy dot com drop down practice okay so thank you Rahul sati sir so creating this page so that we can learn these things and we can grab this information yeah so now let's what we have to do now so you can see here it's a country okay and then there is something written type to select so when we write i and d for country like suppose i am selecting india so i will write i and d so i will get some options there okay so this type of suggestion options is called auto suggestive drop down okay so if you write instead of i and d if you write ame so you will get some american uh, samoa okay some other country's name okay so this is totally based on what you will write in this text box okay so this type of button or this type of uh, locket if you can say uh, yeah buttons only you will say it is a drop down button okay so let's go to the code uh, we will create src new and then we will select one class okay create one class okay now we will give uh, let's give some good name so that we can identify so for this one i'm writing auto okay suggestive drop down okay i'm giving the full name auto size to drop down just select this public static void main click on finish and i will use these two lines of code from this link from this test case okay so that we can invoke our browser and also we can maximize our window okay this is for maximize and this is for invoking a chrome driver now first thing we have to go to this website just copy the link and then we have to open this link driver dot get sorry driver dot get yeah uh, we have to give the value this one give some sleep time so that it will wait till that time okay option error getting over there add throw this option so that the error will be gone now run this for the first time let's see what is happening now it will open the browser take academy page okay that page in the maximize window mode cool till now it's fine now what we have to do now let's go with the uh, manual approach first okay so like suppose if you want to select india then what you will do you will send some value here right you will value right i and d okay and then you will select this one or you will write the full name here okay you will write the full name here i and d i a okay then also you are getting some options okay then you have to select this india so whatever you will write for the india you will get some suggestion and the based on based on that suggestion you have to select so you have to select first you have to locate this element and then you have to give some value okay let's go let's uh, inspect this one okay this is a input type and id we have we can use the, let's see first id is unique or not we can see this id is not unique because we are having three matches of this id okay we will use hash also again we are getting three so we want to use this one okay so we will go with the xpath if you don't know how to write xpath then you have to follow my previous lecture i have shown everything there okay okay now you can see it's saying one of one that is unique so you have to locate this element first okay so driver dot find element by x path okay and then we have to give this value and what we have to do we have to send value that's why we are using send keys and inside the send keys what we have to give we have to give ind okay now okay now when you give this ind just give some sleep time okay so that uh, it will take some time to load the data okay now what we have to do now again go to this web browser okay. so what we have to do so it will grab this information right it will grab this information okay and we have this much of suggestions there okay so what it will do it will 
select these options and based on the text it will select india okay we are going to do like it with what it will do we have these three options we will store this three three value in a list and we will iterate the list and select india based on the text okay let's do this one so first we have to create one list so list okay type will be web element okay and give the name of the list i am giving options okay we are getting the options right equals to what we have to do what we have to do we have to store the options okay driver dot find now i am using elements because we are getting lots of options here we are getting lots of options here okay okay lots of options here so we will use find elements okay now here we have to find the unique element inspect okay okay just click on this one ind just see we have this one okay we have this list okay in this list we can see this indonesia means we have some other list as well yeah you can see in this list indonesia is there then in this list definitely india will be there india will be there and in this list british indian ocean means our three options are present in this class to so copy this one okay control f plus plus li i am using xpath as well for this one okay now you can see we have three options okay just okay why i have given caps lock just give me small case okay small case we have to use my bad okay at the red class okay just copy this one go there put this value here okay so what we are doing we are just storing all the suggestion into this list okay we have error in list just hover there import list hover there import web element now you will see okay we have error here okay we have forgot like by xpath or what okay and elements by dot xpath okay now i think this error will gone yeah okay we have stored all the suggestion into this this list okay just print the size of this list let's see how many element we have so for printing this out okay yeah and we have to print the length so options dot size method we have in java which will give you the size save it run it so it will give 3 okay okay it will pass ind here yeah and then it will grab these three options let's see we have these three options there or not yes we can see the options is 3 now the main task will come okay 50% done 50% we have to see okay now we have to select this one right so let's select how to select this value okay so we have to iterate the element okay so we have to use for okay option i am creating one variable option this option will go this option will go inside this options okay suppose this is a list i will show you like this suppose it is this is a list okay this is a list suppose first country second country and third country we have to select second country that is india whatever okay we are going to with the text only so not an issue if if india will come here it will select not an issue but i'm just normally saying so the list will look like this way we have three element the three element will look like like this way first country name second country name and third country name so i am using option so what is this option will do na option will come first here it will check either this option get text in india or not no then it will go there then it will go there like this way. so this option is used for iterating the list okay option in option for in uh, in java uh, in python we are writing in but in java we are writing colon options okay okay now option has error why error because options is a web element so option will also a web element 
really m e n d yeah okay it's also a web element now error has gone so we have to check if the option okay option which we have created for iterating if option dot get text okay dot ignore case equals ignore case we will use it will check if it is equal or also we are ignoring the case it means like if we give like this way i and d i a then also it will work okay this is small case okay now if you'll give like this i and d i a then also it will work let's see okay and then what we have to do okay semicolon you no need to put here okay because the if condition so after if condition semicolon you should not put otherwise it won't work okay we have to say like yeah we have to say like option option dot click okay not in caps lock we have to go with small case option dot click okay so let's see save it and run it let's see how it is behaving okay it will maximize the window it will go to type to select it will give ind and then it should select india yeah you can see india has been selected now okay just go with some other parameter as well so for this one like uh, just go to this page i will give not india now this time i will give ame okay for ame we are getting some value let's like suppose we have to uh, grab this one okay so just copy ame go there print ame there okay and after ame okay class will be same okay not no need to worry so we have to select this one right just grab this name this name is suri name okay uh, so we will check if it is suri name then select it save it and run it run it again okay whatever will be the options you can do okay so it will maximize the window now this time it will print ame okay now it will select suri name yeah you can see so if there are many options also now so you can select based on the given input okay so i hope you are clear this concept guys so drop down also is a very important while we are going to automate any web applications okay so that's all in this video we'll learn something new in the next upcoming lecture meanwhile subscribe this channel and guys support okay thank you all bye bye